So today's workout is really awesome. Um, we're gonna have fun. We have a lot of alternating exercises that we're gonna do and sets. Um, this focus is really a load to explode. And what that means is we're gonna hold some isometric poses or isometric exercises. And then we're gonna use those same muscle groups and explode out of them. And Chris, don't worry, we're doing different exercises than yesterday. So she came to Saturday camp. So um, I was feeling like maybe you don't wanna do the exact same work again. So um, anyway, so that's kind of our focus. And then in between each round, each round will be about seven minutes long. Um, we're gonna do some agility training and just some explosive movements. And so I'll modify if you guys need that. But really, we're just gonna have fun and get moving and get our Sunday off to a great start. My printer wasn't working this morning, so my workout's on my phone, so I apologize for looking at that um, periodically for my notes, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Okay, so let's go ahead and warm up. We're just gonna do some arm circles to just wake up our body. I haven't moved yet today. I don't know if you guys have, but it's been kind of a slow morning. So if you have not muted yourself, go ahead and take care of that so that you are not the main person on the screen unless you want to be teaching class. Uh, big circles all the way around, get those arms up and over. And then we're gonna take a reach over the head. So side to side reach, still lengthening down the side of your body. As you're doing that, you kind of rock side to side, get those feet going a little bit. And then we'll take it across our body. So arm across your body. As you're doing this, engage your core. It's really easy to throw out your back in the warm up, and you don't wanna do that. Good, one more on each side, and then we're gonna take a full rotation. So you're actually turning your whole foot, okay, and rotating away from it. Good, one more on each side, and we'll take both hands together, lift them all the way up, soften your knees. We're gonna just take this all the way down, big circles around. If you find areas, go in the same direction. If you find areas that you need to stop for a moment and stretch longer, go ahead and do that. And we're gonna switch directions. Again, knees are soft. <clears throat> if you don't wanna have your hands together, no problem. And we'll do one more time here. And then just take it into some gentle squats. So take your feet wider, toes turned out. We're gonna squat down and roll up. Okay, so squat down and roll up. Nice and easy. Let's do one more time just like this. And then we're gonna take it into a hinge. So you can walk your feet a little bit closer, fingers behind your ears. We're gonna hinge, we're gonna reach those thumbs up and out. Open your arms to the side, bring them back together, and then stand back up. Let's do it again. Hinge, reach, open, fingers behind the head. Just waking up the back of the body. Mobilizing those shoulders, we do have a lot of everything today. I'm not gonna say it's one upper body or lower body. It's just everything all combined. So that always feels nice. And we'll take one more time here. All right, let's mobilize the legs. Back leg steps back. First thing you're gonna do is just a calf stretch. So back heel to the ground. Do not overstretch this. In fact, we want you to rock up and down on the ball of your foot to wake up your ankle, calf, Achilles. Kind of mobilize the lower leg and then leave that heel all the way down. Arms circle up, back, and around. Put them to your low back, hold out there for a moment, and let's do it again. Up and around and hold. All right, switch to the other side. So again, hold for just a moment, find your balance, and then up and down with that back heel. Really work your foot, okay? It's not just a heel up, heel down, but it's a rolling even into your toes. And one more time here. Good, plant the heel, arms circle up, back and around. And we'll do that one more time, circle up. Perfect, all right. We're gonna get our heart rate up just a tiny bit before we get going. I'm actually gonna take you through the finisher drills or the kind of the in-between high intensity drills. I'm gonna take you through them at a low intensity, okay? So I want you to just shuffle your feet Nice and easy for the first one, okay? This is gonna be the place that you come back to, is this fast feet. So everybody get your feet going, nice and quick. Like I said, we're gonna use this to bring the heart rate up. So I'm gonna call out some commands. When I say down, you're gonna squat down and touch the ground. So down, 
So touch the ground, go right back to fast feet. Okay, down, squat down, good, down. We're just practicing the down, that's easy, right? Good, and down. Let's do one more, and down. Good, all right, so modified up, okay, is the first option, so fast feet. When I say up, your modified version, okay, is two high knees, and then right back to fast feet. So let's do it, up, okay? So that's the low impact version, up again, and then fast feet, good. If you wanna take it to the next level, instead of the high knees, your next option is a tuck jump. Yep, I did just say tuck jump. So if you wanna stay with the high knees, stay with the high knees, otherwise a tuck jump. Ready? Up, and up. Good, and up. Let's try one more time, up. Good, and back to fast feet, hold. All right, we're gonna do a walking squat thrust next. So take your feet hip distance apart, hands go down to the ground, your backside lowers in a squat. Walk your feet all the way back. Now you're gonna lower yourself down to the ground, reach your arms and legs out in the Superman. Bring your hands back under your shoulders, either knees to the ground or toes to the ground, and walk or stand back up, fast feet. <coughs> Let's try it again. So this is your hit the deck, okay? So we're gonna go down, walk our feet back, all the way to the ground, arms and legs reach out in the Superman, hands under shoulders, push up however you like, walk your feet back in, and shuffle your feet. We're gonna do one more slow version, then I'll give you two times to do it fast. Ready, hit the deck, down, walk back, Superman, up, Fast feet. So whenever you're ready, just get right back to your fast feet. And last one, hit the deck. Down. Superman. Up. And fast feet. All right, let's do two fast. So that's a full squat thrust with a Superman back to fast feet. Ready, set, hit the deck. You're jumping back into those positions. Hit the deck. All right, so either way you want to do it is completely fine, kind of a fun move. Your next drill for high intensity that you'll find in between rounds is a ladder drill, okay? So if you have your mat, maybe you don't want to be on your mat, okay? We're going to start with our feet in and out. So imagine you have a ladder right in front of you, okay? You're going in and out with your feet. Now you can stay in place or you can have some fun and you can travel forward and then you can go back. Okay, travel forward and back, making sure your feet go in and out, in and out. Maybe you lead with your opposite leg on the way back. All right, so that's your first one. Your second ladder drill is hopscotch. So hopscotch, out, heel comes up, out, heel comes up, out, up, out, up. If you don't want to do that, stay with the first option. So just like you have a ladder again, you're going to hopscotch down and then you're going to hopscotch back. The cool thing about this ladder is you're not gonna trip on it. Keep going, out, in. I will do one more time. Nice, fast feet, and done. All right, last thing, single leg hops through your ladder. You can go laterally, you can go forward, it doesn't matter. So single leg hops, hop on one foot, and now travel forward, hop, 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 and then hop back on that same foot. And then switch legs. Easy hops. You gotta get that foot up. Good. And I want you to try it sideways, okay? So go laterally through the ladder. Going with one leg down. And then switch to the other leg on the way back. <coughs> All right. I think we're warm. I'm feeling warm. Those are your in-between drills. You're gonna see those as we move on. So, first part of the exercise, 60 seconds, hold. Okay, that's your isometric piece. 30 seconds, explode. So the very first exercise, okay, is a squat hold. So you're just gonna hold this squat position right here, elbows towards your knees, chest up, holding. Your high intensity version is a frogger. So hands will go to the ground, 
Your legs will either walk or jump back, and your hands will come off the ground in that frogger. Back, in and up. You can modify by having your body on a, uh, on a couch right here, and not going all the way to the ground if you prefer. So 60 seconds on the clock. Let's get ready. Let's get set. We're going to repeat this a couple times. One time at full interval and one. Ready, set, go. Hold. Hold that spot. So we'll repeat this at one minute and 30 seconds, and then we'll repeat it again for 30 and 15. Just so you get the benefit of the work. So this is a big hold. I know, chest up, butt back. You can make your feet wider if you want to. Turn them out a little bit. Get those inner thighs to activate. Woo! My legs are burning already. <laughs> Feels good. I like to heat the body up first thing in the morning. All right, you are halfway there. I want you to think about how you can make this a little bit more challenging. So maybe it's down a little lower. Maybe one heel pops off the ground. Maybe the other heel pops off the ground. Just give yourself a challenge. Ouch. Come on, last 15 seconds. Can you squeeze your butt a little bit tighter at the same time? Remember, the next move is the rubber. You guys keep going. I'm going to demonstrate that one more time. Hands to the ground. Back. Feet come flat and your hands come up. Wait for it. Three, two, one, and go right now. It's back. In and out. Woo! So this is where you feel all that loading that you just did, right? Should feel hard to explode into this movement. And for lower intensity, you can walk back and walk in. You can even keep your hands on the ground. Come on. Almost there. But remember, we're going to go right into our load and explode for the second round. Right now, hold. Hold your squat. Stay down. Now, if you're hanging out here with your elbows on your knees, this is not much of a hold, all right? I want you to feel your quads burning. Butt is back. Out. Remember, option. Lift one heel at a time. We've got 10 seconds left in this hold. 10 seconds. And then we're going to explode for the final round. Almost there. Three, two, one. Explode. Come on, 15 second frogger. Let's go. Strong core when you're in this plank position. Woo! Let's try to get three more. <laughs> Time is up now. All right. Walk it out. Man, that was a good one. Now, we're going to keep moving on. we got two more rounds, new exercises, before we go into our high intensity. So, like I said, my notes are on my phone. That's why I'm looking down here. We're going to work upper body planks and push-ups. So, one minute plank, and then we'll go right into 30 seconds of push-ups. You want to do this on your weights, you can, or if you need to, you can lay on your back and hold the chest press with your weights, and then you can do push-ups, or I'm sorry, single chest presses from that position. So here we go. One minute on the clock, plank hold. If you know that your wrists might burn out and you need to do this on your elbows, feel free to do that. You can always do plank or push-ups from your knees if you need to. Good, I want you to transition your weight so your shoulders are right over your hands. We've got some fun planking coming up later on in the workout, so just work the traditional one right now. Woo! I remember, again, if you needed to modify and have your hands on your weights, it could look like this to keep your wrists a little more supported. Actually like that, I might stay right here. Come on, you got 20 seconds left. If you need to make this plank more challenging, lift the leg off the ground, have some fun. You can lift the other leg off the ground, all the while squeezing your butt. And five seconds, we go right into push-ups. There's no break. Three, two, one, and begin. 30 seconds of push-ups. Now these are not tricep push-ups. So your hands are about shoulder distance, a little wider. Elbows going back at a 45 degree angle. Come on. Knees or toes. Ah. Uh, remember, push up's just a moving plank. That's all it is. We've got 10 seconds left. How many are you going to do? Come on. Five. And get ready. You're going to hold that plank once again right here. Hold. 
30 second hold. Now we feel our shoulders working. Now we feel our whole core working. Keep our body up off the ground. Sweat should already be dripping off your face. Man, we've got 10 seconds left here in this plank position. You got it, breathe right through it. Exhale deep into your core. Three, two, one, push-ups for 15 seconds, go. Come on. How many can you get done? Ugh. Only five seconds to go, come on. Finish strong and time is up. Woo! All right, roll those shoulders up, back and around. Move your wrists around a little bit. Getting ready for the third round. And like I said, after that, we go to high intensity. I know you're probably feeling like this is already high intensity, kind of is. Okay, so we're gonna hold a star position, which means one leg is off the ground. Okay, arms can be straight up, they can be out at an angle. Okay, I do want a long line from fingertip down to your heel. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds on one side, 30 on the other, and then we're gonna do star leg lifts, okay, for our dynamic explode movement, all right? So that's where we're going, one side at a time. Get ready, hold position off the ground. Your stabilizing knee is soft. You're squeezing through your hips and obliques. If you want to, you can do a little bit of a lean in the, away from the leg that has lifted. Good, keep going. 30 seconds is quite a while to balance on one leg. So be proud of yourself for completing this. You've got eight seconds left on this side. Come on. This is just like hard to hold your arms up after the push ups and switch sides. So just rock yourself to the other side. We'll do the quick leg lifts at the very end. Zip up tight through your midsection. We're almost there. Good. If you want to work harder, lift your leg a little higher. Come on. You've got 10 seconds left. Can you open your arms? Squeezing your upper back. Three, two, we're gonna quickly switch sides and you've got 15 seconds of pulses right here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So keep your foot flexed, arms open wide. Maybe you need to modify here. Keep going. And three, two, you're gonna switch to the other side right here and pulse, pulse, pulse. Get that balance going right away. Nice work. Final 10 seconds. And then we are moving to our hit the deck high intensity set. Three, two, one, time's up. All right, so moving right along. Get a drink of water. That was three rounds. You're not gonna complete any of that work again, so it's done, throw it away. But I do need you to get your feet going fast. I'm gonna watch you guys on this one because it's gonna be more fun together, okay? So fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. All right, so when I call out the move, I'm gonna go through them one more time. Okay, so if I say down, you would do a squat touch to the ground. Okay, if I say up, modification, high knee up, or tough jump up. If I say hit the deck, you're all the way down, Superman, up, and right back to fast feet. Fast feet is your resting place. If you don't wanna do any of those moves, then you stay at fast feet while we do them, okay? So, roll those shoulders back and around. We've got two minutes on the clock to complete this set. Ready, set, and down. Down. Up. Come on, up. Down. It's gonna be fast. It's gonna be reactive. Up. Hit the deck. Up. Down. Hit the deck. Up. Up. Hit the deck. Woo! Come on, keep going, keep going, keep those feet fast. 
three, hit interval. Whew. Enjoy that breathless feeling, get a drink. And we're gonna move into our next session of load to explode. Great job, you guys. All right, moving along. On this next one, you're gonna need your dumbbells. We're gonna roll our shoulders back and around. We're gonna bend over at the waist or at the hips. And it's not a row, it's a bent over bicep curl. So I don't know if you can see the difference from this, but your elbows are in line with your body. They're not behind your body, okay? So bend over right here. So what's happening is your hamstrings are working, your core is working, your biceps are working, you're holding there for one minute. Then you're gonna stand up and do single curls, sorry, single arm curls, okay, just like this, with your weight. If you need to do both arms at the same time, feel free to do that. Ready, set, here we go. Shoulders back and around, squeeze the shoulder blades, bend over, curl, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Good, and you can do, maybe you wanna do uh, hammer curls, that's okay, that's a little gentler on your wrist, if that feels good. But you're feeling your hips and glutes working. So make this more challenging if you want it. You just fan your hands open an inch or so. Yeah, you feel the difference there? Forearms, feeling the different heads of the bicep working. Ooh, I feel my upper back working like crazy. And remember, it's not here, it's here. We're loading the biceps so we can explode into those single arm curls. If this is straining your neck, pull your chin in a little bit. You've got only 10 seconds right here. Come on. I want day, I want my 10 pounds day, and I know I'm gonna feel this. Come on, five, four, whew, ready, set, stand tall, single arm curls, curl, curl, single arm curls, I feel like are so much harder than both arms together. Stand up tall, come on. And again, these could be hammer, they could be palm up, you can walk around. Just know there's 10 seconds left and we're going right back to that bent over position. Yeah. That's good. Get ready for tank top, Father. It's coming. And down you go. Bicep hold. Now, this should feel a whole lot harder than it was the first time. 30 seconds right here. Try to release your fingers so you're not gripping too tight. <clears throat> and add that challenge to open the arms a little bit wider. Do you feel your forearms rocking out? Ow! Come on, eight seconds. Get ready for it. Three, two, stand up, 15 seconds. Oh, did those weights double in weight? I did. Keep your body upright. It's really easy to stay tip forward. Stand up tall. Be proud. Three, two, time. Oh. All right, guys. Enjoy a stretch. Pull your fingers back a little bit. You can have your hands out to the side. Right here, any flexion in the wrist, great. Or a stretch for the bicep. Next up, man. All right, hip bridge. So we're gonna hold the hip bridge. I'm gonna show you a couple different variations here, okay? Your first hip bridge can be right here, pretty modified, okay? Your next hip bridge, it can be up on your hands with your shoulders rolled back and around just like this to make it more challenging. You could even drop one leg or drop the other leg, okay? Of course, I think you can also probably do a hip bridge here if this is a comfortable position, but that one bothers my shoulder, so I'm not gonna do that one. 60 seconds, and then once we get into our dynamic, it's a marching hip bridge. So if you're up, it's marching right here, okay? If you're down, it's marching right here. So nothing too fancy, but let's get going with our hold. Get into your position, please. Three, two, one, and let's begin right here. So, hip bridge up. So if you're in this position like I am, please try to make sure that you're not caved forward, that you're rolled up, back, and around. It's a great stretch from the front of your shoulders to create flexibility there. Your butt is squeezing tight. Remember the option, you can also be here, or maybe you want to go here, that's fine too. 
One minute is a burner. If you're modifying, remember, you're right here. You can put pressure on your heels. You can squeeze your butt tighter. You can even put weights on your hips if you wanted to. Okay, we've got 20 seconds to go to finish this one up before we go to our marches. Woo! Hamstring, butt, all feeling the work. Take some nice deep breaths. Get ready for it. In eight seconds, we're going to march our feet. It looks like this. It's just a little baby march. Doesn't have to be crazy. Our hips are not going down and up. Let's begin. March it up. Good, good, good. Whichever position you're in, it doesn't matter. You're working hard. 30 seconds. Only 15 left right here. It's getting hard to keep that butt high. I know, whichever position you're in, it's getting hard. Five seconds. Come on, finish strong. Woo. And time is up. Okay, back to your bridge. I'm gonna drop down because my shoulders are on fire. So bridge. Again, you wanna make it harder, lift your heels, lift your toes. It's only a 30 second bridge. Might feel like an active recovery for your heart rate, but don't worry, we'll get it back up again. In five seconds, we'll go to our marches. Get ready, get set, rest on the back of your head, not your neck, and go. March. And we do not want to have our hips going down and up, so glue them up high. Good five seconds to go. Stay with it. And time is up. While you're here, hug your knees to your body. Give yourself a little release. And we'll move on to our third drill. So we're gonna come up to standing position and uh, move into some curtsy lunge holds, okay? So you're gonna hold the curtsy lunge here with your arms reaching across your body. So you're twisted through the trunk here. Hold, 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 30 seconds on one side. You're gonna hold, 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 30 seconds on the other side. And then down the middle, you've got skaters for the exploding movement at the end. Are you ready? Are you set? Let's get that timer going. Three, two, one, and go. So hold, twist it up, back knee bent. Good. Really reaching across your midline. Nice stretch for the hips, kind of feels good. You can take your back leg further behind if you want to. Maybe going into lower, you've got 10 seconds left on this side. Great work. It's a balancing act right here, just being all wound up like this and get ready, switch to the other side right now. So take that foot behind, reach your hand across to your front leg, keep your chest up, we kind of fold forward when we get tired. Whew. You know this one's gonna hurt when you have to go back to it, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, stay with it, 15 seconds. When we move into skater, you have options. You can do low impact, you can do high intensity, it's totally up to you. Eight seconds. Ow! Four, three, two, get ready, explode into your skater now. Come on, go. Oh man, low impact, right? No jump, just going side to side, otherwise, Get after it, move those arms. This is 30 seconds. And then we get to go back and hold again. If you can, then you wanna go harder, go lower or go faster. Up to you. Come on, eight seconds. All right, coming your way, coming your way. Hold, hold, hold. Doesn't matter which side, you're gonna do both. So enjoy it. Lift up your chest. Pull your chin in, drop deeper. Four, three, two, switch. Hold the other side. Come on, breathe, breathe, breathe. I know it burns. We can do this. We're all doing it together. Five seconds, and then we explode into our skaters for 15. Ready, set, go. Come on. I know your legs don't want to move. Use mind over matter right here. Let's go. Come on, push. A little harder, a little faster. You don't have to do these again. Three, two, time. Oh, and recover. Okay, so we're in our second set of high 
intensity, which means that we're going to do our ladder drill next. So all those things that we practiced, I'm going to be doing them with you so you can see. Make sure you have some space. Two minutes on the clock, and we'll get ready to go. We're going to start with fast feet, in and out, either staying in place or traveling up and down that ladder. Completely up to you. Ready, set, and travels forward first. So in and out, in and out. Fast feet, fast feet. Now go backwards. Good. Keep going. I'll tell you with the switch. One more time, forward and back. Fast feet, fast feet. Come on, get them going. Pick up your feet. Moving on, moving on. You have got hopscotch next. So hopscotch, travel forward, out, hop up, out, hop up. Now, many of you need to modify this. And you can do both legs like a jumping jack, forward and back, if that's a better fit. We're gonna take it one more time down and back with hopscotch. Good job, good job. Coming up next, single leg hop forward. So choose one foot, now hop back with that same foot. Come on, switch legs, hop forward, hop back. All right, we're gonna go laterally now. Choose the leg to start with. Hop down, come on. Stay with it, switch legs, hop back. Nice work. If you need to, little baby hops, just like this, with both feet landing together, is a great modifier. All right, back to fast feet. In and out, travel up. Go, 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 travel back. Come on. Hop scotch, hop scotch. Travel back, single leg hop forward, right? Or double hop, your choice. Same way on the way back. Switch legs. Go, 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 15 seconds. Go back, laterally, through the ladder. I mean, side to side. Remember the option, both feet, if you need it. One more time down the back. Come on, let's finish it up. And that was our time where we're gonna finish. Done. Woo! All right, guys. Enjoy our recovery. <coughs> Halfway through the workout, guys. Woo! All right, here we go. Next up, we have a hollow hold on the ground. Okay, so. Great active recovery. Modification. Knees bent right here, maybe slightly past the line of your hip. Next option, straight legs. Notice my head's on the ground. Next option, head up with any of those positions or legs low. Okay? You can move your arms away from your body to make that more challenging. And then moving into your dynamic exercise, double leg stretch. So we're going to bring our head and knees towards one another. Stretch arms and legs away, and then hug them back in, and stretch them away. So if you want your head on the ground for that move, looks just like that. Okay, so hollow hold. It's gonna feel great after that big cardio set, and give us a moment to recover. So one minute on the clock, get ready, hollow hold. Your choice, however you wanna do it. Again, we're gonna go through those modifications, head down, knees bent, hands off the ground. Extend the legs, draw the belly button down so your low back is pressing toward the mat. And then, of course, upper body lifts in any of these positions or lower the legs. Or take it into the full hollow hold, which is so hard. Maybe you need one knee bent and one leg straight just to try that out. There are so many different variations and ways to work this move. But as long as you're feeling a shuddering and shaking going on through the core right here, okay? You are doing the right thing. You have 20 seconds left. Maybe try a different arm position. The couch is on the way. I can't straighten out my arm. Come on, 15 seconds. Is this bothering your head? Let your head rest in your hands. Keep holding. Eight, seven. Come on, double leg stretch is coming next. That means we're bringing our knees into our body right here. Let's go. Knees in, arms and legs stretch away. And knees in, and stretch it away. And again, head, my head's on the ground, it needs a break. I need my neck to relax a little bit before the next hollow hold. Feel free to do that if you need to. 
Come on, almost there. We got 10 seconds left. To modify this move, if it's getting intense, legs and arms straight up is great. Almost there. Then we go back to that hollow hold. Ready, set, hold it now. Hold it now, whichever position you want to be in. Head up or down. Remember, leg bent, leg straight. Whichever one works. Love this move. It's gentle on the rest of the body except for the core, right? Come on. You've got 10 seconds left in this hold. Come on, breathe right through it. Exhale deep into the core. Three, two, one, and double leg stretch. Go. Hug your knees in every single time. Extend. Go reach your arms as long as you can, right past your ears. Almost there. One more, one more. And time is up. And relax. Not so bad. Uh, sit still for a moment. Let me look at my next move for you. And coming up next, <clears throat> forward elbow plank. Now, this one's fun, okay? Because you're going to feel this in the upper part of the abdominals like crazy. It's a little bit different than a regular plank in that the shoulders are a little safe in a safer position. So you can start with a regular plank on your knees or toes, and then I want you to walk your elbows forward a couple of inches. And you're going to feel this directly in your upper parts of your abdominals and even through your triceps a little bit. You can do it on your knees or in a full position on your toes. Following that, you have got a Superman to plank. So, Superman, <clears throat> and then you're going to push up to plank, and then Superman, and push up to plank. Okay? So, those are your two moves. Let's go forward. Plank position, so elbows in front of our shoulders. And let's begin right now. So, <clears throat> you may feel like you're gonna fall flat on your face here. That's okay. You're only a couple of inches off the ground. Now, what we don't wanna see is a rounded back. So, look out toward the end of your mat. And by all means, do it on your knees if you need to. It still works, just like this. If you start slipping up and you're trying to like, you know, get those elbows under the shoulders, push your body back. It's kind of like an isometric army crawl, right? Okay, 30 seconds left. If you want to challenge yourself on this one, take your elbows a little bit wider and put your palms on the ground. Just for an added challenge. Because I know most of you guys are going to take it. You guys are tough cookies out there. Come on. You've got 10 seconds left. Should be burning, burning, burning. Remember, Superman to plank is your next move, either on your knees or your toes, it doesn't matter. And begin, Superman, reach arms and legs, and then push up into a plank. And again, it can be a full plank on your toes. Keep coming. It's like that move from hip to deck, right? Just kind of getting you ready for it, because that's going to come along here fairly soon. Come on, 10 seconds. Maybe it's right here only. You're going to be able to push your body up off the ground. Very functional training. And get ready, get set. And you've got your plank again. So elbows out in front of the body. 30 seconds this time. Now not only is your core engaged, you should feel your back working as well. Right through the thoracic spine. Mid-back. Come on. Shudder and shake. That's my next t-shirt. Shudder and shake. Ah, come on, five seconds. We've got this. Don't let your back sway. And Superman to plank. Go. Extend. And push. Come on. Squeeze your butt every time your arms and legs away from your body. Ah. Five seconds left. Last one, guys. And push back into your child's pose. And stretch. <clears throat> All right, stay there for just a moment. Whew. Moving on. <clears throat> we have deadlifts and kettlebell swings for our next move. So, one or both weights, your choice. Deadlift, it's a slow deadlift. You're going to go three counts down and then quick up. Okay, so three down and then quick up. One or both weights for the swing. Okay, hips hinge, just like the deadlift. 
They said that we snap our hips forward a little bit faster. You're doing both arms. It can look like this. Or if you have a kettlebell, grab your kettlebell. All right, we're ready to rock. Three counts on the way down. One count on the way up, shoulders back. Good, so it's kind of hard to do an isometric deadlift. I mean, we could just hang here, but I like that eccentric movement. Slow down, quick up. Good, and if this is easy, you can always take your hands wider, like you're holding on to a big barbell and feeling more intensity through your upper back. Good. Now notice the knees, they're soft, but they're not bendy. It's not a bendy deadlift. The focus is the hamstrings, back, and glutes. Good, take your time. You can even go slower if you want to. You have four counts down, one count up. Take your time, time under tension. That's what we're going for right here. Last eight seconds of work. And then we're gonna fire things up. I want you to move hard. I want you to move fast in those kettlebell swings. Feel your hips shifting back and forward. Get ready, get set. Feet hip distance a little wider and swing. Okay, your back goes flat as you hinge. And then your glutes squeeze tight to keep your back from arching. So we're not doing any of this. Okay. So okay if your booty sticks out just a little bit on the way up. Nice work. Where it's not so much about the arms, it's more about the hips and the hammies. Come on, four seconds. Get ready, go back to those deadlifts. Reset, three or four counts down. Oh, man. We always feel it at this set, don't we? Fatigue setting in, we're gonna push right through it. Remember that challenge. Take it if you want to, open your arms wider. Like you've got a barbell. As wide as you're comfortable going and keeping good form. All right, coming up, ready, set, get your weights together, ready to go, swing. 15 second swings. Come on, weight stuff right at chest height or closer to the belly button if you need to go lower. Come on, one more. Done. And our time is up. We are going back to our very first high intensity set of hit the deck. If you don't remember, it's fast feet, it's a touchdown, it's a tuck for the up, and hit the deck is sprawled out on the mat, Superman with a big push back to the top. Two minutes on the clock, that is where we're going. Get ready, shuffle your feet, go. Come on, fast feet, fast feet, I want you to drop those tips. This is your return position, or this is your rest position, should you need to modify any of the moves. Get ready, get set, down, up, down, hit the deck. It's a full sprawl, and then right back up, up. Remember that modification, up, get behind knees, just like that. Down, down, watch my butt, it goes down, it's not rounding my back to touch the ground, down. Hit the deck. Up. Up. Down. Down. Hit the deck. Woo! Hit the deck. Come on, 45 seconds left. Are you going to stay strong? Up. Up. Hit the deck. Down. Remember that down is just a touch to the ground. Down. Hit the deck. And up. Up. Down, 15 seconds, down, hit the deck, up, up, 
You are done. Oh man, you did it. Good news. You don't have to do that interval set anymore. That's the very last time. Woo! Wipe off the sweat. We are gonna move into mini bands next. So, if you have mini bands, go ahead and get some out. I'm gonna use kind of a moderate weight with mini band. But if you wanna get out a couple just in case, so you have some options, probably the great idea. All right, we made it through the bulk of the workout. We're into our core work, which don't be fooled, it's not gonna be easy. <laughs> Because many bands are never easy, are they? All right, sit down on the ground. First things first, okay? You can put your mini band at the bottom of your feet. Bottom of your feet, so over the top of your shoes, under the arches of your feet, okay? We are gonna keep our knees and our feet hip distance apart. That's one of my goals with this mini band drill, so that your hips are engaged and we're not letting the mini band do the work of pulling our legs together. So we're gonna lay on our back. We're gonna begin with our knees at 90 degrees. Our backs are flat on the ground. We're putting a little bit of extra tension on that mini band, okay, so that we feel it wanting to snap our legs together, but we're not gonna let that happen. Flexion at your feet right here, hands by your side, first move. You're going to extend your right leg for two counts. So super slow, extend, 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 hold. Now slowly resist on the way back in. And switch to the other side. Super slow. Now you might find that your opposite knee is doing some pulling at the same time, and slow back in. If you don't have a mini band, you're doing this with just your legs. Good. I want you to come to that full stop position before you switch to the other leg. That's gonna keep our tension on our mini bands. Good, now take your fingers behind your ears. With that same movement pattern, you're moving into a bicycle crunch. So extend, as you extend, slowly come up, hold, and then slowly come back down and switch to the other side. The slower you can go with this movement pattern, the better. And again, let's do two more slow on each side. Good, bring it right back to the center. Your head can touch down every time. And if you want to just stay with legs and not even do the upper body, you are welcome to do that. Good, big exhale, reach, reach, reach. And we'll finish with this last one right here. We are not quite done, so don't take that mini band off. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna hold right here, 90, 90 with our, our knees and our hips. Our arms are gonna go straight up. I want you to stretch that mini band open. So this is what your legs are doing. Open, open, open. So hold your knees in line with your ankles. Pulse open while you're doing that. Your abdominals are engaged. You feel the work happening from your hips all the way down to your ankles on the sides of your legs. Three, two, one, and done. Ugh. Hug your knees in. Let the legs relax. Woo. And we are going to move on. Okay, so we're going to take this band and we're going to slide it up to our quads. Okay, so above your knees, you're going to flip over onto your front side. <clears throat> Flip over onto your front side. You're gonna go face down. And we can kind of this out here. All right, so moving on. We're gonna take our arms out in front of us. Fingers like little tripods to the ground, suction them to the ground, hold here. Feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna lift our legs off the ground. Hold right there. I want you to open your legs out and then gently bring them back in, but not let the legs touch together. So open out, hold, and slow back in. If you need to have your head on your hands, if that feels better, you can modify right there. Keep going, out, hold. Now the hold is the most important part. So if you're missing the hold, okay, I want you to get after it. Good, belly button folded nice and tight. And you've got one more time. Now we're gonna hold this one open here, hold. And I want you to pulse, pulse, pulse. Both those legs open, squeeze your butt tighter. If this is putting pressure in your low back, put your head down. You've got four, three, two, one, and relax. Push back into a child's pose and stay there for just a moment. 
Ooh, a lot of hip work today. A lot of hip work in this core work. It's good for our bodies. Good, shift side to side. Okay, we're gonna keep the mini band on. We're gonna roll over onto one side. We're gonna do a modified side plank first. So our elbow is underneath our shoulder. Our hips are on the ground. Our top leg is straight. Okay, we're gonna start in this position. I'm gonna give you the option to go into a higher position if you want to, but first let's stay here. So draw the abdominals in. Your foot is flexed, your top leg is flexed. You're gonna swing your leg forward. So maybe you want your hand on, swing your leg forward. And then without the hip shifting, I want you to swing your leg to the back. And give myself some more space here. So this is, like I said, a modified version. And then swing the leg to the back. You're using that band as an anchor, adding that resistance. Good, keep it going. Now, next level, if you want to, is to come up onto your knee so your hip is off the ground. Your top leg, not touching the floor. Okay, forward and back. Up to you if you wanna move up to this level or not. And maybe you wanna do this without the band. Maybe your hips are so tired and you're done. That's fine. Let's do one more in each direction. And hold, good, stay right in the middle here. Turn your toes up a little bit and pulse, pulse, pulse. So your toes are trying to turn up, you're trying to get your hips to open. Good, here's four, three, two, one, and done. Ooh, pound out those hips, give them a little stretch, a little massage, and we're gonna flip over to the other side. Oh. So again, start with your hip on the ground, okay, elbow on the ground, top leg straight, foot flexed, and you're swinging forward, control, control, control through the core, slowly swinging back. Now this is what I don't wanna see, leaning forward to get our leg to go back. So take this at your own pace. Strong hips, go slower, go slower. I can sense that you're going fast. <laughs> I can't see all of you, I know that it happens when we get tired and it's easier to go fast. Okay, choose the option if you want to take it up a notch. Be mindful that this side might not have the same strength that the other side has, and that's okay. You also feel your bottom hip working, supporting. Go to one more in each direction. We've got it, we've got it. We're gonna stop right down the middle, turn our toe up and pulse up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and done. Oh my goodness, pat it out. Pat it out, pat it out. Good, all right, so take this mini band off your leg, off of the leg. We're gonna put it on our forearms next, okay? So forearms, not the wrists. I might be a change to our mini band out. All right, we're gonna keep our legs straight. We're gonna flex our feet, reach our arms so that they're right in front of our forehead. We're gonna put some pressure on that band. From here, I want you to inhale through your nose and I want you to exhale and I want you to roll part way up, look at your belly button, push against that mini band, hold, and then release back down. One more like that. You can stay with that move if you want to. Roll, 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 hold. On this next one, we're gonna roll all the way up. So if you need to bend your knees to do that, you can. Take a big exhale, draw the belly button in, tuck your chin, roll, 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 all the way up at the top, hold. Good, and I want you to rotate down to one side, okay? Go right back up the center. You're gonna rotate down the other side, and right back up the center, and we're gonna roll ourselves back down. So heels digging in, maybe you need to modify your knees bent. Roll down and inhale, stretch the arms long. Exhale, tuck your chin, dig your heels to the ground. Roll up at the top, pull and pull those elbows down, rotate right up the center and to the other side. Can we do it one more time? Let's try it. Roll ourselves down. If you need to release the arms for a moment, that's fine. And just put them right back to work. Good, exhale, tuck your chin, try to keep your arms right out in front of you, roll up, and pull your arms apart, rotate, right through the center, and exhale, rotate, and right through the center, and done. Oh, release those mini bands. Okay, we're gonna stay seated to stretch. You guys, it's so amazing. <sighs> Fast and furious, that's what that one was all about. Let's take one leg out in front. Okay, put your other foot into 
the inside of your leg. Hinge forward at your hips, reach same hand as that stretched leg. Good. And then you can start by just putting your fingers behind your ears. And if you want to, you can go all the way over the ear. Release the side body. All right, so whichever leg is bent, you're gonna keep that leg bent. You're just gonna take your outstretched leg and tuck it behind you. Okay, so just tuck it behind you. So we're gonna tip forward here, get our glutes to release. A lot of hip and glute work today, especially with those mini bands. All right, next up, let's get our hips to open up. So take your, whichever leg is back in front, take that hand behind, same arm as back leg. You're gonna lift up and press your hips forward. Press both hips forward. And if that bothers your neck, then look down at the ground. And we're gonna release. So the leg that's in front now goes straight. Your other leg comes in and hinge and reach with the same hand as outstretched leg. And again, you can start opening up and then reaching your arm over. And done. Okay, outstretched leg comes behind. First, we hinge forward, just at whatever level you want. Maybe you can hold all the way down, maybe you can't. And then we'll take the same arm as front leg right behind us. The other arm goes up, we press our hips forward. Ah, all that hard work, let's just let it go. And release, good, okay. We're gonna sit here with our knees bent. We're gonna do a little bit of rotation through the hips. So drop your knees to one side, that feels really good. And drop them up and over to the other side. Good, one more on each side. Little internal and external rotation for the hips. Good, last one here, rotate it over. All right, let's go ahead and come to our feet. And all that jumping, we wanna make sure our calves are feeling good. So I want you to go ahead and bend at your hips. I know this is not calves, this is hamstring. Bend at your hips. You can even take your feet wider, you can. We're gonna crouch down, okay? Crouch down right here on the balls of your feet. So you're not trying to rock all the way back, just gonna crouch. Then so lengthening down the back of the legs, stretching through the shins, okay? And then you're gonna pop yourself back up and legs go straight. And crouch down again. If that's hard on the knees, you're welcome to just do a downward facing dog instead. And bend both knees just ever so slightly. Roll yourself up. Good, a couple arm circles across the body. So knees are soft, reaching across the body. And on this next one, take your hand behind. Tilt your head in the direction that your hand is being pulled, and then tuck your chin down towards your chest. And let's take the other side, circle across your body. And one more time, take this arm back behind your body, hold onto your hand, and turn or take your ear towards your shoulder. And then drop your chin at an angle towards your chest. Take both hands behind your back, clasp them down, lift up, soften your knees. You can stay right here, you can stay here, or if you want to, you can let those arms reach away from your back, create some flexibility in your shoulder joint. And then swing your arms all the way up, bring your fingers behind your ears, let your head rest in your fingertips. And we are done, we did it. Good job, fist bump, getting up early and working out on a Sunday morning. I'm proud of you guys. You're gonna have a great day, right? Thanks, Sarah, that was really yeah, good. Awesome, a little different than yesterday. <laughs> yeah, no, it was good, so I'll see you, uh, see you when I see you. I'll see you when I see you guys. All right, so next week off, and then I'll see you guys the next week. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. You are welcome. Have a Thank great you. week, everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good Thanks, to see you Sarah. guys. Bye.